You pay for fast internet, maybe 500 megabits per second, maybe even a full gigabyte. But your Wi-Fi still feels slow, the games still lag, and that 4K film still buffers right at the good part. It feels like you're being ripped off. But the problem probably isn't your internet provider. It's the rubbish little box that they give you. Right then, I'm done with that. So today, we're replacing this shit and building a network that doesn't suck. I've got some Unify gear, a load of cable, and a plan. Well, it's mostly a plan. Let's see how we get on. Alright, the heart of this whole thing starts down here in the cupboard. This is the ONT, where the fiber comes into my house. From here, instead of just going to that old router, we're plugging this into the Unify Gateway Max. This isn't just a router, it's the brain of my entire network. It looks completely different from a normal router. This one device handles my routing, my network security, and acts as a firewall, protecting all of my devices from the weird parts of the internet. So why go with something like this instead of a normal router? Three words. Control, stability, and information. Control. I can decide which devices get priority, so my gaming PC will always have the fastest connection, no matter if someone else is streaming a film downstairs. Stability. This thing is designed to run for months, even years, without ever needing to be restarted. The classic, have you tried turning it off and on again, just isn't a thing I have to deal with anymore. Information. I can see everything that happens on my network. I'll show you the unified dashboard later, but it's like going from the dashboard of a 90s car to the cockpit of a modern aeroplane. This gateway is the foundation. Everything else I'm about to show you is built on top of this solid, reliable base. It wasn't the cheapest, but the peace of mind is worth every penny. Okay, so we have the brain, but a brain is useless without a nervous system. For a home network, that nervous system is the physical wiring. Wi-Fi is great, but nothing, and I mean nothing, beats the speed and reliability of a good old-fashioned Ethernet cable. The big job was getting a direct, uninterrupted connection from the gateway in the downstairs cupboard all the way up to my office. This meant I had to run a single 20 meter long Cat6 cable, and since this is a new build house, I wanted to make it as clean as possible. Okay, after a bit of creative cable routing, we're in the office. The cable comes up here and plugs into the central hub. This Unify PoE switch, this is an 8 port USW. It powers my PC, my servers, and most importantly, this thing. This is the Unify U7 LR access point. Because the switch provides power over Ethernet, I only need to run a single cable for both power and data for the access point. It's super clean and gives me stable Wi-Fi performance up here in the office. But of course, that created a new problem. The signal downstairs was now terrible. I had this amazing network upstairs, but a total dead zone in the living room. The proper solution is another Unify AP, but after buying this gear, I'm completely out of budget, so I'm stuck. I went digging through a box of old tech I had, and I found this. It's not ideal, but it has an access point mode. You switch it on, and it stops trying to be a router. It just becomes a simple antenna. It takes a wired internet connection and it turns into a Wi-Fi signal. This was perfect. I already had a wired connection into my living room from a wall jack that connects back to the main gateway. And it actually works. It's a bit of a Frankenstein monster, but the signal downstairs is now rock solid. I can still pull up to 100 meg on Wi-Fi. This old router I was about to throw away saved me from having to buy another expensive access point. Happy days. So what's the upshot? Well, first look at this. The unified dashboard lets me see everything, and the speeds up here in the office, well, we're gonna get the full 500 meg now. Downstairs, on that old cobbled together access point, we're still getting solid speeds. It's perfect, no more buffering, no more lag. So there you have it, it's a bit of an investment up front, but building a proper home network gives you stability, speed and control that you'll just never get from your ISP equipment. If you want more videos on my budget home lab, my gaming setup or anything in between, let me know in the comments down below.